So this is first heart sound and first heart sound is produced when there is onset of ventricular systole and there is closure of mitral valve and tricuspid valve, right? Then we have to see that as I told you in the next phase when ventricle will contract and pressure in the ventricle will become more than intra aortic pressure then of course aortic valve will open and opening of aortic valve will produce which sound? Just yes. no sound. Healthy valve when they open they do not produce any sound. Is that right? Yes. If your valve is producing sound while opening there, there may be something wrong with your valve. So opening of the aortic sound, aortic valve is without any sound. Then in the next stage in rapid ejection phase again there is no sound in slow ejection phase also rapid ejection phase and slow ejection phase in both phases no sound then left ventricular diastole start. When left ventricle start relaxing and intraventricular pressure rapidly drops and blood in the aorta when it try to come back it closes which, which valve? Aortic. aortic valve and actually on the left side of the heart aortic valve closes and on the right side of the heart pulmonary valve closes and closure of the aortic valve and pulmonary valve produces a sound which is called this place that is of course not S1 now the sound which is produces S2. S2. So we can say S1 was produced due to closure of mitral and tricuspid valve in the beginning of ventricular systole and S2 was produced by closure of aortic and pulmonary valve at the end of ventricular systole and of course at the beginning of ventricular diastole. So we can say between the ventricular, between the S1 and S2 there is ventricular systole because at the beginning of ventricular systole the sound produced is S1 because in ventricle contract mitral valve and tricuspid valve close that produces S1 and when ventricle relax that closes the aortic valve and pulmonary valve that produces S2 and sometimes when there is rapid ventricular filling at the last phase of rapid ventricular filling is that right? At the last phase of rapid ventricular filling sometimes especially in young people after exercise right heart may produce a sound and this humble sound is called as 3 is that right? And then if in some patient hypertrophied atrium is pumping against a hypertrophied ventricle then atrial contraction may produce a sound. Again let me tell you that sometimes if there is there are atria which are contracting against stiffened ventricle. Stiffened ventricle mean hardened ventricle. More truly speaking hypertrophied ventricle. If your ventricle is hypertrophied then atria has to put extraordinary effort to push the blood into right. hypertrophied ventricle. And when atria contracts strongly sometimes the flow of blood from atrium to the ventricle produced by the atrial contraction may produce a sound and that sound is called S4 and that is usually pathological sound. Is that clear to everyone? So once you have learned this thing, one more thing which I want to highlight, the phases here I have shown in the left heart but actually exactly similar phases also occur in the right, right heart except the pressures in the right side of the heart are lesser than the pressures in the left, left side of the heart. For example, the pressure in pulmonary art in pressure in aorta uh, varies between 80 to 120 but pressure in pulmonary artery varies between 8 and 25. In the same way when we talk about uh, left ventricular pressure, left ventricular pressure varies from 0 to 120 left ventricular pressure but right ventricular pressure varies from 0 to 25. Is that right? So the cardiac events on the right side of the heart are similar as on the left side of the heart. The only difference is pressures. Is that right? Now, we'll, we will discuss the heart sounds later on in a big detail with murmurs, right? There will be a full separate lecture on that, right? Right now, we just try to correlate the heart sound with the phases of the cardiac cycle. 
you have a question. Is there any pathological manifestations with S3 besides the child with exercise? Look, S3 may be seen sometimes in young people, especially after the exercise, because when you are doing exercises, rapid venous return to the heart, right, from the peripheral tissue, that may produce S3. But S4 is usually pathological. Is that right? Yeah? S3 is a sound produced due to rapid ventricular filling, right? And S4 is produced uh, usually when there is a hypertrophic ventricle having a forceful contraction against a stiffened ventricle. Am I clear? Okay. Now we will present this thing graphically. All these events in a graphic fashion. So now we will be presenting the cardiac cycle in graphic fashion, right, as a graph. Let's suppose this horizontal line is displaying the time scale and this vertical line is showing the pressures, pressure changes and here is of course, time. Now, if we start with the cardiac cycle, you know there are three parameters which we have to check. The relationship of pressure activities in the atrium, atrium pressure activities in the ventricle. ventricle and pressure activities in the aorta. aorta. First, we will discuss these three dynamics, right? Now, in the beginning, in the very first phase, when atrial contraction start, you remember there was atrial pressure goes up and this was called which wave? A wave. And as atrial pressure goes up, along with that, ventricular pressure also goes up. And when atrial contraction completes, ventricular pressure contraction also completes. Then what really happens? Meanwhile, when atrial contraction is going on, right? At that very moment, the pressure in the aorta is about 80 millimeter of mercury. Is that right? Now we have to consider three chambers. Let's look, I will draw the three chambers here. That here atria is contracting, right? A wave and same pressure transmitted to, what is this? Ventricle. So, red line also shows increase in ventricular pressure and of course this valve is closed, mitral valve is open at this stage but aortic valve is closed. So what really happens because the aortic valve is closed, so pressure in the ventricle has nothing to do with the intra aortic pressure, aortic pressure is around 80. Now what really happens that as soon as in the next phase, in the next phase what happens this onset of ventricular, yes. What is the next phase? Yes, please. The onset of ventricular contraction. And as soon as you remember that ventricle start contraction, mitral valve closes and now heart has to pump as a closed, ventricle has to pump as a closed chamber. Because mitral valve is closed, pressure is rapidly build, building in ventricle. ventricle. Pressure is rapidly building in ventricle. Uh, but aortic valve is yet not open, but pressure is jumping from atrial pressure to the aortic pressure. So, what we really see at this phase, now this was your, the first phase was atrial contraction, second phase is isovolumetric, isovolumetric contraction. When we talk about the isovolumetric contraction, right, even though in time scale it should be, you can say, shorter time duration, I will draw it more narrowly. So, now, what really happens? Here is your aortic pressure, isn't it? And here is your atrial pressure and there is onset of ventricular contraction. And when there is onset of ventricular contraction,